I'm sure it's a tough battling game, I guess. Um, I think we should have had a penalty at the end. We'll just start with that. Yeah, I think it's a blatant penalty. Uh, their manager's just been in the office now and says it's a blatant penalty as well. It's frustrating for us that the referees affect the game for us. Uh, Matty, did, my assistant, has spoken to the ref and he says he'll ring us on Monday, but it doesn't change the result for us now. It's frustrating because the lads have given everything. Uh, they've scored a great goal, they've come inside and curled it. We can take that. And if we lost 2-1, we can take that for a bit of quality. But what's frustrating for us is when referees are having a massive impact on the game. Do you think if that if that happens well, we don't get the red card either? And that's looking ahead now to the next three games. That yeah, of course. For. Look, I haven't seen it. It's hard from the side that we're at to see whether it's a red, but from the reaction, it did look a bad tackle and it possibly is a red. Uh, but he booked two of our players for asking the question. Charles is asking the question, how's it not a pen? Our forward's in. Why would he stop? Uh, and Green is just asking the question on why has Charles even booked? So he's, he's quick to get his cards out again. Uh, it's frustrating. It really is that a ref had an impact on the game again, rather than two teams. Yeah, I was speaking to their manager for the non-league paper and, and said, "Oh, it was quite a fiery game." But he didn't see it that way with the bookings. No, look, I didn't think there was a bad tackle in the game until after the pen missed. Like you say, it's frustration. Obviously, Dan's gone in. If it is a red. I'll watch it back and see. But like I said, from the reaction, it seemed like it was. But it wasn't a bad game. There wasn't a bad tackle in the game. Uh, it was quite a tactical game both ways. Uh, I thought it was a very even game. I thought they started really brightly for the first 15 minutes and then we matched them up uh, in the same shape. They was playing 3 5 2, and then I think we got the better of them for the rest of the half. Denham took his goal brilliantly. Uh, and then we come out in the second half and it was fairly even. Uh, we switched off just for a minute out wide on a free kick. They took a quick free kick down a wide and it's a great delivery and the lads got across the near post and scored, which is frustrating that we have switched off. And uh, like we've been working on the defensive shape and we've been saying it and just tied legs at the end. We let Chadwick inside on his right foot and he's curled it in and what a strike. Uh, we, we've been saying all along, keep him down the outside, but there's nothing the lads can do. They're just, it's just at that stage of the game, we did get leggy. It was a, they're a very good team as well. When they, they were barraging us in the second half and, and it did take two moments of quality, like you said. Yeah, they're a very good team. They move the ball well, they move you about, they make you work hard. When you're in possession, they come on pressure. They're a very good team. I expect them to be up there come the end of the season. And now just looking ahead Tuesday, I hate to use the cliche, but it seems a bit of a six-pointer, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a big game and it is a six-pointer because of the position that we're in in the league, both teams. Uh, we'll dust ourselves down now. We'll make sure we get the recovery right. It's been intense. A few games uh, and we prepare now. Come Sunday, Monday, we'll prepare and we'll be ready to go for Kings Lynn. And just looking at the injury front, Dan Wishart went off injured today. And then Dan Bowery obviously got his red card, so it's looking like suspension. Um, is it frustrating to have, I guess, it's, it's looking like we could have another makeshift back four on Tuesday night? Yeah, we'll see how everyone comes through. It's frustrating that we can't pick the team that you want to pick. Uh, and it's frustrating that we can't have the lads on the bench and have a, have a strong squad really to pick from. Uh, it is frustrating but you know we won't make excuses we keep working hard now we'll see how Dan Wishart comes through we've got a blow to the ribs we'll just see how it, how it is Dan will obviously miss it I think it's straight reds he misses the next game so he won't be in the squad uh, so we'll be a man like hey thanks for your time Stuart Cheers. thanks Chris